Welcome in to the Michigan Football Report. I am your host, James Yoder, the undisputed king of Michigan football media. And I'll tell you what, it must be the middle of summer. The blog boys and the mesh boards must have nothing to talk about related to the Michigan football team because I swear, I swear, all they've been doing lately is talking about me, breaking stories, trying to tell you, the smartest uh, audience in Michigan football, uh, to not watch because their their audience is dwindling away. But you're still here because we're the best, the biggest audience. I appreciate it. I'm going to tell you about why I am in the tropics here in a few minutes, but I've got a Michigan football rumors roundup for you to get you in to the weekend. So let's get this bad boy started with a question to start the show. I just got to know what you guys are thinking on this one because I was talking to some people from Notre Dame. I got a big contingent of people from Notre Dame coming in for this game. I'm expecting it to be a night game. Will Michigan beat Notre Dame this season? Will Jim Harbaugh get the one and one against Brian Kelly and the Irish? Or will this forcing the Irish to get back into the schedule, uh, you know, even in the late October, which is completely ridiculous, will come back to haunt Michigan, potentially, you know, keep them out of a playoff bid. Uh, you know, they could have been there last year had they not lost Notre Dame. Maybe, you know, it depends on how things went. But type M, if Michigan's going to win, yes, they'll beat the Irish. Type ND for Notre Dame, if it is no, Michigan will not beat Notre Dame fighting Irish football team. October 26th, I think it is. Expected to be a night game, but let's get into it. Michigan football rumors round up. I got a three pack of rumors for you, starting with Jim Harbaugh, Michigan's football coach, at the Al Glick Youth Football Camp this week. I'm surprised this hasn't made more news, and I showed some people today. They're saying, oh, that's no big deal, but uh, you know, people try and throw things out of perspective. A grown man talking to a kid. Harbaugh calling a kid disrespectful in front of a group of other kids. Four Harbaugh heads, baby. F-A-C-K, fact. I'll tell you about the rumor. Harbaugh had rumor round up in just a minute. If you haven't, watch below. But there's a video that I'm going to show you guys of Jim Harbaugh talking to this group of campers, asking them, you know, telling them about football, about the Michigan team, about life and all that stuff. And some kid yells out something, which I'll talk to you about after the video. And here was Jim Harbaugh's reaction. Who said that? Somebody's up here talking for somebody else to try to talk or talk over. If I ask a question, then I'll ask you to talk. But that's a bad habit. That's disrespectful, young man. Okay. All right, so that video occurs to the Al Glink, uh, Glick, the famed Michigan booster, Al Glick Youth Football Camp, and Coach Brown, who was there filming it. And some kid, I don't know if you heard that, it was kind of faint, but he yells out something like, Go Spartans! And Jim Harbaugh went a little heavy on him, calling him disrespectful, pointing him out a number of times, calling him out from the kids. I get it, Jim Harbaugh. I do. But you may want to watch yourself in this everyone's a victim social media society. Hey, who are you to who are you to raise someone else's kids, Jim Harbaugh? Nevertheless, it happened. I think we're one of the first people to talk about it. Surprised no one else has yet. But Coach Brown caught that video. Now, why would a youth football player come to hear Jim Harbaugh speak at an Al Glick famed Michigan booster camp and yell Coach Spartans? Well, if he's a youth and he's, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, however old he is, most of his life, Michigan State has had the better of the Michigan Wolverines. But Jim Harbaugh <clears throat> should be 3 and 1, but he's 2 and 2. We all remember the 2015 blocked uh, punt for a touchdown towards the end of the game. If you're nine years old right now, most of your you know, conscious life so far, Michigan has been competitive two and two, uh, big time win last year on the road in East Lansing. And then you know the, the two bad games, the two you know, games ended in dark into the rain in 17, the block punt in 15. There's a chance Michigan should be 4-0 against Michigan State. Got to change the tide, you know, make the tide turn this one. But young kids in the state of Michigan, they certainly don't have the affinity to the Wolverines that someone, you know, in their 20s, 30s, 40s probably did for the Wolverines because when they've grown up, Michigan State has maybe owned the rivalry for most of their lives. Jim Harbaugh, two and two in his uh, four years as Michigan's coach against Mark D'Antonio and Michigan State. So let me watch this video for you one more time. Here's Jim Harbaugh with the Al Glick camp telling a kid, you are disrespectful. Who said that? Listen, listen, 
Have some respect. Have some respect. When somebody's talking, listen. Listen. Here's what. Here's what. Here's, here's a bad habit. Here's a bad habit. When somebody's up here talking, for somebody else to try to talk or talk over. If I ask a question, then I'll ask you to talk. But that's a bad habit. That's disrespectful, young man. Okay. Hey. Don't cross Jim Harbaugh if you're a, a Spartan fan and, and he's got the floor. Well, they get disrespectful a few times, and that uh, that's how it went down. So pretty interesting video. Excited to see if uh, our reporting on it, uh, you know, uh, brings this situation to light. Not a big deal, of course, but want to ask you about this show. You have hopefully been watching for the couple of years we've been doing it, but do you like the Michigan Football Report? Because we looked into the stats. I've got some data analyst wizards here at the Michigan Football Report. We know all about who our users are, who our viewers are, who's watching, and they told me some crazy stats I'm going to talk about here in a second. But type yo if yes, you like the show. If you don't like it, you don't like me, whatever it is, type der, D-E-R, if it's no, you don't like the show. But, you know, uh, you know, just uh, surprise, I win either way because I'm making you type my name if you don't like me. So, yo, if you like it, der, if you don't. Either way, you're talking about me. My analytics guys came back and they said, James, gosh, the numbers are in. You're still number one. This is amazing. But I've got some crazy stats. Your biggest fans are watching six, seven minutes per show. Okay, cool. That's great. Well, the people who hate you. I'm like, what about the guys who hate me? Tell me more about the guys who don't like me. You trash me on Twitter. They're like, these guys are watching 11 minutes per show. We can't, we can't figure it out. And then I'm like, what about Webster and an era from the radio station and an MGo blah, Brian Cook and the guys who really think I'm a bum. What about them? Like, they watch 50 or 60 minutes a week and you only do one show for 15 minutes. They watch it four times. I thought, I don't know what's going on, but apparently they're, they're, they really like it, even though they don't necessarily like me. I'm not sure. So type yo for yo if you do, dir if you don't. You like the Michigan football I pour. And we talked about the Harbaugh heads on that first rumor. Want to make sure I remind you guys, if you're joining us for the first time, what are the Harbaugh heads? Zero Harbaugh heads. I'm just giving you the stories out there. I'm giving you my take on them. If there's any validity to the blog boards, the message boards, what's out there on Twitter, zero Harbaugh heads, totally false. Fake news. One Harbaugh head, small shred of truth. Might be true, might not. Leaning towards not. Two Harbaugh heads. People are talking strictly in the rumor category. Three Harbaugh heads means it's pretty likely. And if we give it the four Harbaugh heads, that means it's an F-A-C-K fact, Michigan Football Report sourced story, or sometimes it means it's just news and it's out there. But that is the Harbaugh head football explainer here at Chat Sports, Michigan Football Report. And... If you're watching this show, I'm sure you started watching it on our main YouTube channel, at Chat Sports TV. So I want to thank you for likely being part of the biggest audience ever in the history of Chat Sports and the world to watch two guys with dirty blonde hair under the age of 28 years old talk about what guys are doing on a basketball screen, which is what happened last night. Look down there in the bottom corner, this side of this, right there. Over that side, bottom corner of your screen, 1.1 million viewers yesterday on our NBA Game 6, NBA Finals Game 6 watch party with Tom Downey and Jimmy Crowther. So thanks so much for watching us. 1.1 million viewers in a single night for a game. So thanks so much for doing that. Couldn't do it without you guys. Record shedding record-setting chat sports show. Let's keep it rolling with our second rumor on the Michigan Football Report. Harbaugh head rumor meter Josh Gaddis getting the full authority. Zero inter interruption, interference uh, input from Jim Harbaugh. Three Harbaugh heads. If you follow the Michigan Football Report on Instagram, you got an exclusive look at this story. Talk to someone very close to a former Michigan assistant coach who spoke directly to Coach Harbaugh, I'm told, and asked him about how's this new offense going to work? What are you going to do? What is it? Is Josh Gaddis going to be uh, kind of like Pep was, where he's just right running your stuff? He said, no. Jim Harbaugh said, no. I'm going to give him a couple years. I'm going to let the people, I'm going to, maybe I'm missing something here. I'm going to see if it's my offensive game plan or if it's something else. Why we're not beating Ohio State? Why we're not winning bowl games? Josh Gaddis answers to no one. According to my source on this, three Harbaugh heads, the man who was the co-OC at Alabama, wide receivers coach, going to run a very high tempo, high passing offense with some bits of, you know, Michigan traditional. We call it the power spread here at, uh, I guess, you know, earth, but power spread is going to be the offense that they're running very similar to the 2014 Ohio State offense with Ezekiel Elliott, Ed Warner running the show there. So three Harbaugh heads, I was told this, Harbaugh said, I'm not going to give you a single play call unless you ask for it all year. The only time I'm going to make play calls on offense 
is if it's to go for two or not, but then Josh, you still get to make the phone play call, or if it's to go for it on fourth down or not, late in a crucial game, late in a crucial moment, but we're never gonna run the ball to protect the defense if Josh Gaddis says no. So this is exciting. But again, I've heard things in the past with, with Michigan football that don't come to fruition. I've seen too many, you know, fifth-year seniors play when a, when a sophomore is clearly better. So we'll see, but it's training in the right direction. He hired Gas because of this. Now, what kind of offense is Josh Gas inheriting? He is inheriting the number 49 offense nationally last season with a five-star kind of you know, five-star recruit quarterback in Shea Patterson, a bevy of riches, Sean, McC or Sean McCune, uh, but that was one, not the one I was thinking of, Zach Gentry at tight end, and then three wide receivers four wide receivers, five wide receivers that can make plays, 49th in the nation in yards, number 79 folks, number 79 in passing, 30 in rushing, 21 scoring, I think has more to do with the defense uh, than anything, but nevertheless, that's that. We will come back in just a second, I'm going to take a quick pause, YouTube commercial break, I'm going to talk about how Michigan's offense compares to Ohio State and what can we expect from that rivalry in 2019. All right, we're back. Thanks for supporting us on YouTube by sitting through that Michigan Football Report commercial break. Michigan is looking up in the Big Ten to Ohio State when it comes to setting, uh, you know, the right path, putting things, uh, you know, in motion with a modern offense. Their offense was unbelievable in 2018, and it's really been phenomenal under Urban Meyer and pretty good under Jim Tressel. Michigan's offense, not so much. Only 35 points compared to their 42 last year, but the real difference is that total yards per game, passing yards per game. Ohio State absolutely dwarfed anything Michigan has done, not just this year, but in the history of the Michigan football program. So that is what Michigan's kind of getting compared against. Ryan Day put that offense into place. And Jim Harbaugh has got some, he's got some things to work on as a Michigan's football coach. 10-3, 10-3, 8-5, 10-3. Last three seasons, lost to Ohio State, lost to uh, the, bowl, lost in the bowl game. So two game losing streaks in 16 and 2018. A three game losing streak in 2017, that five loss season, after loss Wisconsin, Ohio State, and South Carolina in the bowl game. So that is the word on Jim Harbaugh, giving the reins over to Josh Gass. I believe it, but I still trust, but verify with Jim Harbaugh. We are presented by MyBookie, the best sports book on the internet. We are going with MyBookie as the place to make your bets, NFL, college football, NBA. You can bet on how many games Michigan's gonna win, who's gonna win the Heisman college football playoff. Head over to MyBookie, at chatsports.com slash go blue. It sends you right there. Populate that promo code go blue. Whatever money you put in up to 300 bucks, you're going to double your money. You put in 50, you get another 50 in there for free. 100, 100, 300, you get another 300. Go ahead and get started with my bookie. Sports, you know, betting on sports is awesome. Makes the games more fun. And if you're doing it right and you follow the show, you'll probably be able to afford trips to Hawaii like me here at the Michigan Football Report. And bring that up. I am in Hawaii, baby. We told you we were taking the show on the road this year. We got a new transportation sponsor, the Chroma Key Express. Choo! Can take this bad boy anywhere we go. And I took the whole staff and my family. We are in Hawaii. I'm here. You know what? What am I doing here on the beach? Okay, I gotta take this coat off, and I got a little Hawaii song for you. It comes from uh, my friends at Wayne's World. Let me get it for you there. Maybe you want to go to Hawaii. Mukalaka hiki. Come on, you want to lay me. Pass the poi, mahalo. Woo! So we are in Hawaii. I, you know, the sun is out here. I'm putting my sunglasses on because I am enjoying it. That is the word on the new set. We're going to be back in the, in the main studio next week. But for now, the Michigan Football Report hey. is in Hawaii. Hey, uh, Probably? Uh, hey, man. I lost my phone. I was trying to meet my bros on the, on the North sh Shore. Oh! <laughs> are we on air? Yeah, man. What can I help you with? Uh, sorry, I'm just filming you, a show here. Are you, uh, are, are you Mr. James Yoder from the Michigan Football Report? Yeah. How'd you know that? Uh, man, my name's Brian. I'm a, I'm a cook from Michigan. I'm get out of here. I'm a what, really, really big fan, man. What are you doing hey, out here in Hawaii? Uh, I'm on vacation uh, with my family. We should, just, we should pause rolling. We shouldn't run this, okay? But yeah, what's going trying, on? Uh, trying to meet some friends, and unfortunately, I, I lost my phone or asked for a picture. Um, 
All I can offer you are these are these beers. Do you want to? So you lost your phone though. So wait, I, I can't. I'm filming a show here. I'm very sorry. I can't uh, have this we, beer. Do you want to just have a sip or you, we could chug it? I mean, what, you, we can. That's just, actually that's actually a good point. You know, I told people that if they, I got the Michigan Football Report Instagram up to a thousand followers, I'd chug a beer on stage. So this is very ironic that a Michigan football fan, a Brian, you said, you're a cook. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Would be such a big fan of mine that you'd watch. Did you watch every show? Oh, dude, every hey, show I tune in, listen, I man, subscribe. Man, you're a good guy oh. like you. Thanks for recognizing. I appreciate it. Let's absolutely. do this. You saw the football quarterbacks, right? Oh, dude, absolutely. Matthew yes. Stafford is that one guy. He's name. good. He's good. So, all right, Brian, Let's do coming this. on the set here in the Michigan Football Report out here in Hawaii. Nice. What is the odds we have this, this, this here? But we won't probably run this. Okay, let's keep the cameras rolling now. We're going to chug this beer. We'll cut the rest of that out, man, so I won't show anybody with you drunk on screen. But let's use my phone here in a second once we're done filming, all right? Absolutely. All right, wait. Let's chug this beer, man, all right? Let's Wanna get nuts? All right, cheers. cheers let's go. <laughs> Woo! High five, brother. Can I borrow your towel? Looks like it. Little, little drink. <laughs> what do we have on that? Anybody? Six seconds? Seven seconds? All right, well, hey, uh, here's my here. I'm going to hand my phone, brother. Go make a call over there. I'm going to keep rolling if you don't mind. Actually, I got a little on my feet if you don't mind either there. I got to gotta wipe my feet up. But uh, nice, come back sometime. Uh, I'll, I'll, we've got 10 more minutes of filming if you don't mind. I'm going to take my shades off. All right, you guys ready? Let's keep it rolling, okay? Keep it going here. Michigan Football Report. I'm not sure if we're going to keep that, but I just chugged a beer in probably record time because you guys followed me. Got a little bit of a little one of those. You guys followed the Michigan Football Report Instagram channel, or Instagram page, at Michigan Football Report. Got 1,100 subscribers there. We have a big time scoop. We'll talk about it here in a second. Coming on Saturday, with some big time info on the Michigan football running back situation. So make sure to follow. We're gonna make it private Saturday morning, so you gotta ask for permission for the rest of month of June. Third rumor on the Michigan Football Report, and I just chugged a beer here in Hawaii. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling loose. Secret weapon at running back. This is the scoop. I've been sourcing this one for a few days, and I'm excited. Three Arbaugh heads, you know, things come out in the summer. They never come to fruition, but I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I'm just going to tell you the situation, and then we're going to talk about the person tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, on the Michigan Football Report Instagram story. So go ahead and follow us. Let me tell you about the secret weapon. All right. It's not someone anyone's talking about to great length. It's not a player that people are talking about. Some might say, what is it, a, is it a grad transfer, James? Nah, maybe. You're going to have to tune in to find out. They, have, they are building a set of running and passing plays dedicated to one single player from the running back position. And this player is reminding many people of former Michigan football running back, former Michigan football uh, fullback, Aaron Shea. Now, let's take a look at my initial game one target running back depth chart. Now, I think Zach Charbonnet will eventually be the starter at the running back position by, you know, game four or five, maybe earlier, maybe later. I think he'll be the starter by the end of the year, absolutely. But for now, he's still a little bit hurt. Christian Turner will get the nod against Middle Tennessee, Middle Tennessee State. Zach Charbonnet, True Wilson, guys that you should be familiar with. Ben Van Summer, Summer and who? Who's Ben Van Summer? I haven't even heard of that guy. Says Michigan football fans, but maybe, but maybe you will. So maybe that's a little bit of tease. Maybe it's not. Nevertheless, tune in tomorrow, four o'clock. I'm going to talk all about this one. Who the secret weapon is at running back for Michigan football, a guy who could get a handful of touchdowns, could be a player that many Michigan fans are like, how did mean, I hear this guy before the season? So thanks for tuning in. Michigan football report here on a Friday. I am in Hawaii. I'm going to put my sun, sunglasses on. I'm going to go find that guy, Brian the Cook from, from Ann Arbor, Michigan, wherever he's from, and I am going to get some more beers. You may let me know how I did chugging that beer. We will see you in a day or two with Michigan football, hot or not. See you then. Go Blue. Hey there, Michigan football fans. Thanks so much for watching the Michigan Football Report. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got Michigan football news, rumors, recruiting information, and inside access to the Michigan football program. You ready for another Michigan football video? I got you hooked up right here. Go Blue.